Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hi everyone, my name is Fafa Gilbert and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa. Ndudu is really a short form of Nududu. Nududu means food in the other language from Ghana and I'm nowhere. Boop, boop. <laughs> anyway, so today I'm taking it to the other land <laughs> and I'm actually making abolo. Now abolo is a beautiful gluten-free steamed sort of, how would you say it's like a dumpling? It is just like made of rice and corn and it's just incredible and it's best eaten with like some fish so we usually have these like tiny white baits we call a one one thousand oh you just take a tablespoon of that you know put it in your mouth and you just chew flavor i like it <laughs> so let's start cooking so to a saucepan, a bowl, add um, 100 grams of corn flour. And I've actually used Pam for this recipe because I have run out of um, the traditional Guinean corn flour. So this is my substitute, which works perfectly. And to that, add half a teaspoon of baking soda or baking powder, which is great, it works perfectly. And at this point, I'm actually going to be adding about 60 grams of cornstarch because that would actually give the abulo its structure as well, which is just great because you do need that. So once I've actually added this, I'm actually going to be mixing everything together with about 400 milliliters of water. So I'm going to mix it till it's well combined. And also what I'm going to do is actually place it on a medium heat and cook it till it actually thickens up. So you almost get that, that sort of double cream consistency. Now the warming process shouldn't take more than seven to eight minutes. Once it's actually warmed through, you've actually got that perfect base, then we can actually continue with this recipe. So at this point, I've actually transferred my mixture into a bowl and I'm just mixing everything together and I've just added 100 milliliters of water. So I've got that perfect consistency now for me to actually add my rice flour. So I'm adding 300 grams of rice flour and I'm mixing everything till it's well combined. So we have this beautiful silky creamy consistency which is just beautiful. And then add two tablespoonful of sugar because abolo is sweet but we're also going to be fermenting it so it would give that sourness later as well. So that's just great. So mix that together and then add your yeast. Yes, because the yeast and then the baking soda would make this nice and fluffy and light and just gorgeous. So you do need that. So I've now added my yeast and I'm just going to mix everything together till it's well combined. At this point, this banguta is not really working for me. <laughs> oh yes. So I'm actually going to use a whisker so to actually whisk it till it's actually well mixed and combined. So yeah, that works. I don't know what I was doing with that banguta anyway. <laughs> so now that I've actually got this consistency, I'm actually going to be covering this with my cling film and I'm going to leave this to actually ferment and rise. So I need that consistency to be bubbly as well. As yet again, I just need to quicken the process. I place it in front of my warm oven and then just after 45 minutes, here you have it. This is the consistency you want. You want it nice and bubbly because that's where the fermentation starts. So to my bowls, what I've actually just done is just inserted it with some cling film and I'm actually just going to pour a ladle full of this mixture in each of the um, bowls. So you can actually use um, those silicone cups as well if you do have it. Now, if you actually want to do this in the husk or in a banana leaf, I will show you that later because you need to thicken the um, mixture then. So at this point, I've actually added an extra 120 grams of the rice flour and um, 50 grams of the corn flour as well to actually have this thicker paste. So just mix this together and I'll just follow the same process of actually covering it with my cling film and also leaving it to ferment and rice. Um, at this point as well, um, because I've actually added some more dry ingredients, I've also added um, 7 grams of yeast as well to this mixture here then. 
so now you actually need to place your steamer on your um, on fire so if you don't have a steamer you can find something that actually has a hole at the bottom and you can use this or best to actually um, put a baking tray add some water into the baking tray and you can actually place this in the oven um, at 180 degrees uh, for about 30 to 35 minutes and that would also work perfectly but when you do do so you need to actually cover the top with the um, foil so that would just trap the steam in so the steam actually cooks it so after about 10-15 minutes on the steamer um, it looks like it's just perfect and ready and it's got those beautiful little cracks there and I just know say yeah this is not a new other food though so I've just inserted a forking just to make sure that it's cooked through and through and it is so now with a thicker paste um, I've actually got the corn husk um, because I've actually run out of my banana leaves which would have actually worked perfectly for this and um, yes so I'm actually just gonna scoop that into my corn husk and also yet again follow that same steaming process and steam it um, for yet again about 10 to 12 minutes and it's ready so once it's actually steamed leave it to cool down and here we have that beautiful consistency look at these bubbles look how fluffy and just gorgeous this is oh yeah so now that was a thicker one and look at the lighter version look how fluffy that is as well mm -hmm. look at the bubbles this is just perfect and this is still piping hot so when you actually leave it to cool down you know you say yes <laughs> Now this actually works without them in as well. You can have this without them. It's like mm, yes, and I hope you've actually enjoyed this recipe. Hi, <laughs> Jan and Bing. Ah, it worked perfectly. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the time for you to click that subscribe button like now. Absolutely. <laughs> And yes, um, you'd find the recipe as well on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. So don't forget to actually check that out. I'll leave the link in my description box. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as in dudubaifafa. So do pass by and say hi. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, and I love you. Bye-bye.